quick peek. It's it's a good looking burrito. Hey everybody, it's uh, a little bit after four on Sunday the 17th. Didn't really vlog much today, but did a 15 mile long run. I'll throw this job right here with Jake earlier today. Got some comments on the last video and on this Strava asking me about like training and long run in general. So I'll uh, give my, my two cents on long run. So uh, back in college, I never really ran more than 12 miles for long run. And you know, the quality wasn't that high. It was Sunday morning after a Saturday night in, in college and I didn't take running quite as serious as I maybe I should have. It was kind of just getting it done and just work, which is still good. I mean, it's better than not doing it, but the quality maybe wasn't always there and the distance definitely wasn't. And then when COVID started, I went home and uh, I was running with Spencer some more and started working up my long runs up to like 14 miles, which felt better. And then on my birthday, which was mid-November, I turned 24 and I decided to run 24 miles. And it was not nearly as bad as I thought it was. It was my longest run by 10 miles. Um, I averaged like 634 pace. I'll, I'll throw this job to that too. I mean, it felt pretty good. And then I kind of realized that long run, once you hit like a certain level, it really doesn't hurt anymore. So I figured I might as well just start bumping up my long run. So the week after that, I did like 16. And I've kind of been chilling at 15 miles for a while because I feel like that's the sweet spot. It's about 20%-ish of my weekly mileage. So I think it's good. I also think that long run is good to squeeze the last few miles, usually squeeze maybe the last five or so today. The last five were between like 618 and 558, I think was my last mile. It's a little bit different at altitude, but normally we'll squeeze maybe go like six flats for the last five, which I think is good because it gets your body used to working hard when it's already fatigued. So it kind of gets you used to that point in a race when like your aerobic system is getting pretty fatigued and it's time to shift gears a bit. Yeah, I mean, if you want to improve, it's just time on feet kind of stuff. You just got to put in the work, put in the hours and eventually it'll just come. It might take time, but there's no shortcuts. So and that's my two cents. Make sure you're doing the runs. Rest if you need to, but always try to keep that mileage high. Making some food. Then we're gonna take this boy to a dog park. Hopefully he loves it. Haven't taken him yet. But he's a good boy, he's good with other dogs, so stay tuned. Way back from the dog park and he had a great time he was for sure the alpha at that park no other dog could take him down so definitely gonna take him back let him reclaim his crown every time he goes so we had a blast hi everybody uh completely forgot to film anything yesterday uh going to film the workout today it's gonna be like a fart lick but i don't really have a bike so it's more like me gonna get like the start and the end of the entire workout and then there's some hills so we'll get some of that. But yeah, I mean, it should be kind of fun. Definitely check out Spencer and Allie's videos for it. And we'll see what the rest of the day brings. All right, so made it to the workout. It is so cold. It's like 37 degrees. It's really windy. Again, didn't bring gloves. Definitely a mistake. Luckily, I'm not on a bike, but it's really cold. Just filmed the start of the workout. They're just doing a run down this uh, trail. I'll get the end, and then they're doing some hills up this uh ramp right behind me i don't know it's not really that much of a hill but it's kind of what you got to work with if you're doing the tempo type effort because either it's down here at the river where it's flatter up in the mountains which are where a fart like effort would suck probably gonna go chill in the car because it's really cold and pretty uncomfortable out here all right it's a it's a little warmer in the car some people have been asking me how i know spencer and ari so i went to high school with spencer i've known him for a really long time we were in the same english class in seventh grade shout out mrs markley so I've known Spencer forever. We became really close when I started running like sophomore year of high school. And then when I moved down to DC for my job, hung out with him there a bunch. Um, he's been my best friend for a while. So when he decided to move out to Boulder, uh, you know, I was working from home in, in back home in Connecticut. And so I decided to go out. Um, I'd known Ari kind of, he ran in our state. He was in our class. Connecticut set up into like different classes for state meets. So I knew who Ari was. He was really good in high school. I'd never really hung out with him or, or anything. Well, I'd met him a couple times on uh, unrelated things down in, in Virginia a couple times, but really became friends with him kind of when we were out in Boulder. And yeah, and then we all became fast friends and went out to Seattle together. I'll throw up some photos, maybe if I can find them, of me and Spencer and McCallum also went to high school with us. I'll throw up a picture if I can find it. I've known Spencer forever. I've known Ari for a few months, but already one of my really good friends yeah the boys are just you know chilling having a good time together all right change of plans it looks like they might just be doing like out and then recover on the way back so i might be able to get some more footage of them than we thought i might have missed a little bit but i guess that's pretty good good for you guys to get more footage oh, oh man just finished filling up their hills it is so cold I, that was miserable man oh my goodness my hands i don't know if you can tell they're 
I can hardly move them. Oh, it's nice to be in this car. I'm just gonna warm up in here for a bit while they finish up their aids. Not fun. I need to remember to bring gloves. This is, I mean, I don't know how many times I can make this mistake before. I just learned that I need to wear gloves and that it's the middle of January and it's not the summer anymore. On the way back from the workout, Spence and I stopped to get some burritos from the, the Range Cafe. Took a quick peek. It's, it's a good looking burrito. It looks pretty big and looks like it might make my run feel kind of crappy later in the day, but it looks like it'll be worth it. How how cold were your hands during that workout today, dude? It was the worst experience of my life, no question, I would say. I don't know if I'll ever fully regain complete function of my hands again, so it uh, might be the last time I ever film, so stay tuned. The big reveal. Hi everybody, just finished the run for the day. Really did not want to run today. I was planning on talking about how terrible of a time I had on that run, but on the way back, I went I went out on a bike path and back on trails and the trails were sick. Found some nice like semi-technical single track, which was pretty sweet. It was actually really fun on the way back. I really liked doing that kind of stuff. I did some strides. I'm really bad about doing strides, but they're really important to do. So yeah, make sure you do your strides. Hey everybody, it's Thursday. I haven't vlogged in a while. I'm probably gonna try and do a workout today. Making myself a sweet little pancake. Uh, it's gonna be good. I put chocolate protein powder in it so it tastes better and has protein. Taylor Swift dropped a new song today, so it's already been a pretty sick day and it's only it's not even eight o'clock yet, so yeah, it's gonna be a good day. All right, it's a lot later in the day now. I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna go probably warm up three miles and do a four mile progression. Probably start at like 5.50 or 5.45, nothing too aggressive, and then work down five-ish seconds a mile for four miles and then do a three mile cooldown. Nothing too special. Just wanna make sure I can do it. I don't wanna do anything that will kill me at the beginning. I wanna be conservative and cautious because the last workout, I think I went out too aggressive. So I wanna do something that'll be kind of easy and doable. So yeah, stay tuned for some updates. All right, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna work out. It looks like really nice weather from this angle. And then you turn around and it's very cloudy and doesn't look that nice, but uh, it's like 60-ish out, it's pretty nice. I start this warm up and then I'll uh, check back in. Just finished the warm up, didn't feel great. Honestly, can't tell if my legs feel terrible or amazing. I guess we'll see how this goes. I mean, if I feel kind of how I felt in the warm up, not gonna go too great, but if it, if it goes poorly, I think it's a sign that I need to take a day off. If I have to take tomorrow off, I have to take tomorrow off, it's not the end of the world. Um, I definitely wanna try and, like I keep saying, play it safe. Unlike everyone else, I was not given a pair of Hyperion Elite 2s to run in. So I bought a pair of Saucony Endorphin Pros when we were in Boulder. I like them a lot. They do the job. Um, they look pretty sweet. Gonna go do some strides and drills and then get this started. I'm not gonna be any footage of it. No one's here to film me, but um, hopefully it goes well. All right, guys, I went up better than expected. Throw the Strava right here. It was average 538. My splits were like 544, 546, 538, 526. Went out a bit too aggressive in the beginning and there was definitely a headwind on the first two miles, which made it a bit tougher. Definitely the first two miles was a struggle. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get through four of these. And the middle, like mile like two and a half to three and a half, it definitely hurt. And I could feel my form starting to collapse. And so when that would happen, I would just focus on, you know, standing upright, driving my knees, engaging my glutes, all that, which I, I think doing core definitely helps maintain your form when you're, when you're hurting which is something I've been working on a lot. Overall, pretty good workout, just kind of a confidence booster. Nice to get something kind of fast and on the feet and something a little bit longer. Obviously, I wanna be able to run faster than that, a lot faster than that for 3.1 miles on the track, but you know, it's a good starting point for altitude. I'm feeling pretty beat down, so probably gonna take very easy tomorrow. Back in college, I was so scared of hurting that if something like really started to hurt, I would just kind of give up and those thoughts definitely went through my mind the latter half of that workout thinking, you know, I can just stop, uh, this hurts too much, but instead I didn't and the last mile was the fastest. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just learning to, you know, toughen up, not give up because I did that a lot in college and I didn't really improve much in college. It's, it's when you hurt that you start gaining the fitness. Obviously it's not good to hurt all the time. You want to take that in stride, but if I'm only working out once a week, my workouts probably should hurt. But yeah, I'm going to go do a two to three mile cool down, which I don't want to do. Ugh, three miles is so long. Probably gonna end the vlog here. Gonna probably film a new vlog tomorrow, so I gotta edit this. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. I'll link it down in the bio. And yeah, definitely keep following me on Strava. Make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate the views. Over a thousand subscribers now, guys. So really appreciate it. Channel's growing pretty quick. Yeah, <coughs> peace out.